Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with Around the Rings. I'm Ed Hula. Athletes at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics express suspicions and doubts about drug testing in the wake of the scandalous doping control in 2014 for Sochi. That's one of the findings of the Independent Observer Report for the World Anti-Doping Agency released this week. The report mentioned persistent fears that a third party could possibly tamper with samples among other misgivings. Sounds like a credibility gap that may take years to repair. WADA meets this week in Montreal to take the next steps. On the safe sport front, World Taekwondo has provisionally suspended Steven Lopez, while a lawsuit against him, his brother Gene, and the U.S. Olympic Committee is filed over allegations of sexual assault. The United States Olympic Committee, facing a number of lawsuits arising out of sexual abuse of U.S. gymnastics athletes, says the claim that it failed to take action against the Lopez's is outrageous and will be vigorously defended. Sapporo, Japan, sends signals it will not be in the mix for the 2026 Winter Olympics, with 2030 the more likely prospect. One month to go to the June 10th referendum on the Sion bid for 2026. Voters in the Swiss canton of Valais are evenly split according to polling, with 7% undecided. Farewell to Frank King, the CEO of the 1988 Olympics in Calgary. King died this week after a training run for an upcoming senior games competition. He was 81. On the mend is Andrew Young, 86, in an Atlanta hospital after falling ill a week ago with fever and an infection. As mayor, he gave the green light for the Atlanta bid for 1996 and campaigned in Africa for the bid. The competition schedule is out for the Buenos Aires Youth Olympic Games in October. Besides traditional Olympic events, this YOG will be the first with futsal and breakdancing. That's two minutes. I'm Ed Hula. For a quarter century, your best source of news about the Olympics is AroundTheRings.com.